In the meantime, in coronavirus headlines, it's an effort to make it more convenient than ever to speed up, especially getting younger people in the door to get vaccinated in Detroit. So the city has opened up four vaccination sites that will not require any appointments. You can just walk in. Hank Winchester joins us now live from one of those locations, the TCF Center downtown. Hank, how's the turnout? What's different? And Rhonda, this is really all about just getting more shots into arms. And we're all very familiar with the TCF Center here in downtown Detroit, a place where before you had to have an appointment, no longer. And that's as the mayor and his team work to get more Detroiters vaccinated. But it's not just here in Detroit. This is stretching out into the neighborhoods. Let me show you exactly where you can go right now. No appointment needed. So not only the TCF here in downtown, but the Farwell Recreation Center, the Northwest Activity Center, and the Samaritan Center. Again, these are just walk in, get your shot, and go. And this is happening Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, also, the mayor's office knows that they have to get to people within the core of the city, into those neighborhoods, which is also why you can make your way to Henry Ford High School, to Western International School uh, starting today, the Brenda Scott Academy starting tomorrow, and the East English Village Preparatory Academy. That begins on Friday, again, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So why this shift? Well, the, the reality is they've noticed a decrease in people signing up to get the vaccine, making those appointments. What caused it? Well, the J&J &J vaccine scare may have caused some people to take a step back. That's why the mayor is saying he wants to make this easier than ever before and understands that as more Detroiters get vaccinated, then it means the possibility for the city to be able to reopen. And he's hoping that things will be moving much quicker and moving forward sometime by this summer. So again, the, the goal here is to get more Detroiters vaccinated. All you have to do is walk in, provide your personal information, get that shot and go. We're gonna be heading to some of these locations throughout the day to check out turnout and also to talk with health officials uh, regarding this. And we're gonna have a live report for you today, Rhonda, starting at four o'clock. And Hank, now, if you look at a map of all these different locations, any single resident is less than five or 10 minutes away from one of these locations. Yeah, it's all about making it easy and accessible. And that's why they, you know, they looked at that map. They plotted these locations. It was very strategic. So there's really no excuse. If you want to get the vaccine, you can do it right now. Absolutely. The safe and effective vaccine to get us past this pandemic. Hank, thank you. Getting more people vaccinated. That is the primary strategy to slow the spread of this virus. We continue to track the vaccines and also provide you with thorough information so that you are prepared to get one at clickondetroit.com. Our team is regularly posting information on where and when shots are available. It's always there on the homepage of clickondetroit.com. And speaking of vaccines, a European regulator finds a, quote, possible link between Johnson & Johnson's vaccine and that very rare blood clot. The vaccine was paused in the United States last week, and we are expecting a decision over whether to end the pause by this Friday. Turning our attention to the number of daily cases. We will get our very latest 24 hour total this afternoon. Nationally, the United States has passed 31,741,000 cases of this virus with over 567,000 lives lost.